it's a wonderful place I can absolutely without any hesitation recommend you guys and by the way it is extremely safe as well if you are scared about traveling somewhere outside more into an Asian or African or whatever cultures of course places are different and especially in Latin America things might become rough sometimes but in Georgia I tell you seriously it's one of the safest countries on the face of the planet you can walk day or night wherever nobody will touch you exactly opposite they'll help you probably and I was asking local people was it like that always and they said no <laughs> no absolutely not there were times quite recently when you could go out at later evening and you would be robbed three times per one walk and at the end even your winter coat wouldn't be left on you and there were times when huge percentage of all the Soviet Union and post-Soviet Union mafia guys Vorev Zakonye, as they say in Russian those robbers who are um, how do you call it? in-law not outlaw <laughs> yeah. basically the ones who make law laws who are criminals well I don't know much about that but just what I heard from people they're criminals but they are so mighty that all the police and government institutions bend under them so because of that they are not considered outlaws or everything is um, allowed for them there's nobody who can say anything against them basically so these high percentage of the ex-soviet union those guys were from georgia so it was a crazy place and i asked local people what happened how did it change and they all point at one person mikhail sakashvili i'm not here to praise anybody or to or to talk bad about anyone i'm worst person of all to judge these things because i'm not from here but what i hear from people who lived here they all said mikhail sakashvili in those times 10 or what years when he was president he was the one he appointed uh, economics ministry i think ministry of economics uh, was it was he kahat was his first name i forgot but bendahidza was his second name his surname bendahidza and there was another third one who was i think minister of justice or some other kind of ministry minister who was responsible for inner things not sure but those three guys uh, Mikhail Saakashvili was ruling from above uh, Bendahidze was making all kind of crazy amazingly good economic reforms uh, to lower the taxes to open up the country for all kinds of investments and in very short of time they literally changed the place and uh, and uh, uh, GDP of the country jumped something like 10 times for a moment well for a moment only but it, it still is a lot 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 better than, than it was and the third guy was was uh, imprisoning all the criminals and not only imprisoning but also <laughs> ex how do you call it uh, deported them from country they literally took them into prison and said you have 25 hours 24 hours to leave the country and you have a permanent ban to ever enter this country again ever <laughs> well all these things were told by local people to me so check for yourselves all the facts I don't know but what these guys says, say who live here 
that during these times when they were ruling in such a way uh, fighting all the corruptions corruption and criminal world uh, opening the economy to real free market economy open competition low taxes uh, amazing environment for dealing business and doing all kinds of other stuff and building huge amounts of amazing things roads and these buildings and, and all kinds of things hi doggy and they say it completely changed the country completely it's one of the am most amazing examples of how a country can be thoroughly changed in such a short time well if I can believe it, and I kind of want to believe it, <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> I want to believe it. <laughs> I hope it is true also, it's not just a dream. That it's also one quite amazing place to visit in that way as well. Amazing, amazing. So if there is any truth in that, dear Georgians, my deepest respect to you in that case. I really envy you in a really good way. I'm really happy for you. If there's any truth in what I just said, I hope there is. While everybody else sits in their COVID restrictions, these guys are building, building, building and building. <laughs>